Hello, everyone. Today's poem is "Chang Gan Xing," Qi Yi, by Li Bai. This is one of the two long poems by Li Bai,、uh, so categorized as "Yuan Fu Shi," which means the poem of women complaining. So this is a very big category. Poetry in the Tang poetry. Also, it origins in the very early time from the Book of Songs time. So this is a tradition, the classic Chinese poetry、uh, tradition. A man writing compliance on behalf of women's angle sounds so weird, right? But just think about that. In the ancient China, the elite people they want to go to the central government. It's just like a girl want to get a good marriage, and when he get married or he went into the central government, the only one he serves is the emperor. It's just like the women serve his only husband. So there's so much. Things between the husband and wife. Of course, there's so much things between the emperor and the elite or the officers. So there's so much feelings, similar, such similars, and that's why so many poets write women complaining poems. Chang'an is a place name in Jinling City in the Tang Dynasty, or. Nanjing City today. I have lived in this city for four years. I've been here for this area for many times, but at that time I never realized this place was associated with such a great poem. Basically, Chang'an area is the place for the merchants living in the city, and from here, from the famous Qinghuai River at this area, they can. Go into the Yangtze River in five or ten kilometers, so it's a quite convenient place for the merchants. Xing is a type of classic poetry, so basically it don't have much、uh, limitations on the、uh, length of the poem, the paragraph, the sentences. So basically, you can treat it as a freestyle. Poem, so it's normally it's used to write long poems. We all know women in the ancient time has lower social levels、uh, compared to men, and、uh, in the Tang Dynasty, the men also have four social layers. Shi Nong Gong Shang. So we have. Talked so many times about the empiricism, which is so important for the Tang people, but that only applied to the first two social levels: Shi, the scholar, social level; Nong, the farmer, the peasant. So the lower two levels, they are not allowed to attend the. Imperial exam. So, if you are you were born in a Gong family, a family of craftsmen, or a Shang family, a family of merchants, you are a craftsman or a merchant for your lifetime. Li Bai wrote two poems on this subject about this. Same women, the lifelong stories about a lowest social level characters in Nanjing City, a woman in a merchant's family. Today, I will just go through the first point. Basically, it's about the first half of her life. Okay, let's go through this long point. I will just go. Briefly about the meaning and more focus on the background. The sentence actually is still quite simple for today's people, but some words we don't use today. 
常干行其一，李白：妾发出覆额，折花门前句。妾 is a term a woman call herself, just like I, in the ancient time. So from here you can see Li Bai is pretending pretending himself at this woman. So he used the term I. When I was four years old, we Collect the flowers, bricked flowers, in front of our doors together. Ju means together, and、uh, so this, from the first sentence, we can see this is the woman is talking to someone he loved. Actually, she's talking、uh, to her husband. This、oh, two poems is a recall. A memory to their past life and their past feelings. 出覆额 it means it. 切发出覆额 means the hair is just covered her forehead. So this in the ancient time means a kid is in her four years old. 郎骑竹马来。绕床弄青梅，郎 refers to man or a boy. So here, she's referring to her husband. So I remember you ride a horse. The horse is made of bamboo. So that was so called 竹马 horse made of bamboo. That's a very typical toy for the kids.、Uh, and you surrounded the well, the water wells, and we. Played with Chinese plum, the fruit Chinese plum. Chuang means the bed in today's language, but in the Tang Dynasty, it means the fence surrounded the water well to, to prevent kids or something dropping into the water well. So here,、uh, he used the Chuang to refer to that water well. 同居常干里，两小无嫌猜。So here, in Chinese, we call it 点题 to point, uh, to clearly point the title. The title is 常干行 So here, 常干里 is the to point, make a point, point to the title. So we both lived in this area, 常干里 and 两小无嫌猜 So we are. Two little kids. Xian is we don't、uh, hate each other. Cai and we trust each other. We don't doubt on each other, which means we don't we trust each other. So that's the very typical kids situation and very lively and precisely. 十四为君妇，修言未尝开。So all the Teenagers、uh, and childhood is with just three pair of sentences, and anyhow we fill it vividly and precisely. And then, 十四为君妇 means I'm fourteen years old and I married you. 修言未尝开 I'm so so shy, so I my face didn't. Opened, so th- that means he covered herself quite well to avoid other people to look at her. Be- that's a very typical、uh, feeling and situation for a young woman, and、uh, from a kid, it's very straightforward and lively. And when a when A girl became a wife, a woman. At the first several years in the Asian China, they are quite shy. So we can see in the following sentences: 低头向暗壁，千唤不一回 So they are couples, they are wife and husband, and they know each other from the very young age. But when they live together, he he say somewhere he lower her head. 低头 and、uh, the eyes is toward to the dark side. 
uh, which means the light is not shining directly on her face. That's one of the measures to uh, prevent some others to see her clearly. 千换不一回, 千换, so called thousand times. So that's the call from by her husband. Her husband was calling him for thousand times, and she never turned back to her husband. That's not because she don't like her husband. That's only because she was so shy. 十五, so when I was 15 years old, one year after her marriage, my eyebrows extended. The so eyebrow extended in Chinese language means someone feels the confidence and uh, is happy. So after one year of uh, living in the new family as a wife, she feels the confidence and don't uh, feel such shy again because she has so many duties in the fa uh, in the family. She has to uh, fulfill the wife's duty as well. Yuan Tong Chen Yu Hui. So, uh, no matter Chen the dust, uh, Hui the ashes. So that's the uh, most lowest uh, stuff or materials. So, this is express her will that no matter my new families, my husband, sh he was the lowest in the lowest social level or whatever, I will be uh, very faithful or loyal to you, to the family. So that's the very true characters uh, in an ancient uh, time. 长存抱住信,起上望夫台 so this is a literal quotation, Bao Zhu Xin. That's a literal quotation. So that's a old story. Uh, one day, a boy have a date with a girl and a bridge. Before the girl came, the water level comes up and uh, drown that boy. That not that's not because the boy cannot uh, flee. That because he keep his promise to stay at the place where to meet the girls, even when the water um, flush, he didn't go away and stay uh, stick to the place under the bridge, and he was drawn to death. So that's the. Uh, promise that means keep promise to death. So here is also the girl, the wife expresses feelings. I'm so loyal to uh, the husband uh, to death, even to death. So that's another similar quotations. So the husband was summoned to the army and never came back, and most probably. Uh, the husband died, and the wife still uh, keep her uh, loyalty to her husband, don't marry again, and she went to a, a high platform to look to the distance in the direction where her husband served, and expecting her husband can come back someday. So that's also a literal quotation. So these two literal quotations all express the loyalty, the faithful uh, thinking to her husband, a wife to her husband. 十六君远行,渠堂宴玉堆 Now there's something about her husband. Jun is the term a wife call, a, call her husband. So 十六君远行 means at the age of 16, you went far, far away. 君远行 So where is the remote place? 
Chu Tang. Chu Tang is one of the gargoyles of the three gargoyles on the upstream of Yangtze River. And、uh, Yan Yu Dui is a very, very dangerous place. Basically, it's a huge rock in the center of the Yangtze River. At that place, it's already very dangerous. The water rushes so speedily, and、uh, at both、uh, side of the river is、uh, high mountains. And、uh, Yan Yu Dui was the huge rock in the center, just like a small island in the center. Of the very narrow、uh, Yangtze River in this place, and uh, uh, in the some of the season times, because of the low water level goes up and down, it's impossible to go through this very dangerous place. We can see that in the following sentences: 五岳不可触，猿声天上哀。So this is still about this huge rock, Yan Yu Dui. In the months of May, you could never go through this place because this month is the most dangerous、uh, season to go through this huge rock, this place. This is not the、uh, suggestion. From a wife to a husband is just describing that at very young age of sixteen, her husband had to leave her, leave his family to make the living, and it's such a hard business. It sometimes it will、uh, take the cost of the life. So that's quite normal. If you think about the merchant, is the lowest in the social ladders. Life is never easy. 猿声天上哀 So this is describing the sadness when her husband goes through this area. The three gargoyles, the huge, the monks is always crying.、Uh, Along the huge mountains, cro-、uh, along the Yangtze River in this area, so that's quite a, a famous and well-known situation for everyone. 门前折行记，一一生绿苔。Now the wife turns back to her home. So in the f- front doors, the tr- tr- trap. Of the step, the footstep is in the pattern of zigzag. So this refers when her husband was leaving the home, he walks in the way of zigzag, which、uh, implies he didn't want to separate with her wife. Anyhow, he had to go to make a living for the family, for himself, for her. For the whole family,、uh, no matter how unwillingness he was, 一一生绿苔 the track of the footstep actually in reality was not there. It's all the Im- imagination of the wife of this woman, because all the track has been covered up. By the green moss, there's not a track of footstep at all. 抬身不能扫，落叶秋风早。So the green moss was so thick, and the wife won't clean it. Why? She didn't clean it. Just imagine it. There's something with her husband left there. Even she cannot see. So she values everything of her husband so much. Even something was covered up. The footsteps covered up by the green moss. Even she cannot see it. 
秋叶，落叶秋风早。And she feels cold. So the feels cold in the autumn. The leaves drops means she feels cold. That's quite a normal writing for Chinese. She feels lonely. The cold. Uh, someone feels cold. In most cases, even even in today's language, it means someone feels lonely. Feels loneliness. 八月蝴蝶来，双飞西园草。So it's August now. The butterflies is flying around in our west gardens because 双飞 means the the butterfly is. In couples, which very naturally reminds the best time the woman with her husband, just the two butterflies is just like their happy hours. They play together in couple. 敢死伤妾心，坐愁红颜老。So when the woman, the wife, saw the happy. Butterflies, she feels so sad because, which remind her the happy times with her husband, but also, which remind herself that for months she was separated with her husband, and she even don't know her husband was still alive or not, and what's more. For a woman, the most worrying is the、uh, beauty, the youth time passed by. 坐愁红颜老 So he just sitting there helplessly and worry about her beautiful face color getting old. 坐愁红颜老 So that's the quite normal feeling. Normal. A、uh, common sense for the classic Chinese woman. 早晚下三八，欲将家书报。So when would you coming down the three ba places? So the Sanba is a place name. Three ba. So basically, it's the same area of that. Dangerous, huge rock along the Three Gorges places. It's a little more upstream of that huge rock. So basically, that's the direction where her husband went. So, 早晚 is a question. So, when would you come down from the upstream of Yangtze River and come back home? Nanjing is at the downstream of Yangtze River. 欲将家书报 ，so that that's the request. Please send a home letter, please. I'm worrying, worrying you for such a long time, for months, and I have no idea. I don't have any message from you so far. 相迎不到远，直至长风沙。So I won't. Be afraid of the long distance to travel upstream to greet you. 相迎不到远 I will greet you when you come back. I will go to the places so called 长风沙 So 长风沙 is a place name、uh, on the Yangtze River, roughly three to four hundred kilo kilometers. A、uh, Upstream from Nanjing City, so basically that is a quite long distance in the Tang Dynasty for a normal person. So the last sentence express the willing, the、uh, the thinking、uh, of this woman, this wife, that when you come back, I will go as far as I could. I will greet you at the place of. 长风沙。Okay, that's for this poem. Basically, it's quite simple and straightforward poem. 
it depicts the some quite precise moments vividly, pictures clearly with that very uh, outstanding descriptions. You feel you can see that little girl, that little boy, just in front of you, and some wordings became the language、uh, we used today. For example, 青梅竹马 So it just picks from the second pair of these sentences. 青梅竹马 for today's Chinese means the love started from the kids. Time and they know each other from the kids, and finally, when the two grown up, they became lovers or couples. So that was 青梅竹马 for today's Chinese. So basically, for today's Chinese, when we read this poem, not only by the vivid,、uh, lovely uh, descriptions. Of the wordings, but we also quite moved by the deep feelings of this wife, this woman. But anyhow, for the Tang people,、uh, there's always a second thought. So let's do this role changing game. Suppose you are Li Bai. So you was born in the Tang Dynasty. You are. Ambitious, you want to go to the central government to serve the emperor, and、uh, let's compare yourself or Li Bai with this complaining woman. So, at a young age, the woman, as a little girl, she does very hard to be qualified to be a good wife, and、uh, for you, or Li Bai. Uh, himself, St- you started hard, started so many books, and try to go to the imperial exams to be qualified as an officer. The marriage of a woman is just quite similar as the Li Bai or yourself getting into the central government, get a position. But that's just a starting point. So during your serve,、uh, your service to the emperor, or during the wife、uh, serve her husband. So this long period is quite similar. So many happy things, so many troubles, so many sad things, just like something depicted in this poem. Well, the most important things actually is. An untold story. For the officers, the emperor is the only one he would serve. He has no choice at all in his lifetime. And、uh, for the wife, the same thing. The husband is the only one she would serve or she could serve. She had no choice at all. So that's basically. The fundamental factor that linked the officers, the elite people, with the complaining wife, because the life is always not easy for them. You can have your comparison and imagination between the two relationships, and when next time you read some other poems, the women complaining. Points always think about these two relationships. Okay, that's for today, and、uh, bye bye.